Let's go ahead and get into the action. All right, well. Big, uh, big opportunity for both of these teams here. I think everybody would expect Tribe probably come through with victory. They certainly have to be the favorite of the among a majority of chat. I, but there's obviously some big opportunities where Simplicity could make an impact as well. The roster has changed up a little bit since we saw them win in Stage 3. And uh, they need to get back to that level of success if they want to be able to keep up with the likes of uh, Tribe and, and LG. You know, we, we talked with Callie a little bit at the beginning of the broadcast verdict about uh, who we expected the, the top three teams Absolutely. in the region to be. And I still want to I still want to say I believe in simplicity, but they got to prove it. Yeah, they do. They got a lot of uh, proving to do, too. They've kind of taken several steps back. Ballo steps back. He gets a two-piece right there. Uh, scratch that just one. King's going to be able to hold down the fort, though, on the bottom side of the stairs. Hills pop up for business. Top of the staircase. There's a demon up top. And Pepe, Jez. Oh, hello. From the 808, he's putting him away. MS or not, my guy is frying. He's got four on board. The break coming through on the backs of that. Cartel is dropped. Pepe, yet again from the respawn, trying to get back up there. A little bit of spawn control going a long way, though, as we see. 30 seconds left to go here in this one. It is a scrappy, scrappy top staircase. All right, well, we've got uh, some great, great opportunities here for the side of Simplicity, actually, to make rotations in. But they got to stop solo on this... Uh, on his burner that he's on on the, uh, the top side here. Ends up rotating to the other end. Picks up the kill on a Pepe, and now... Going to be rotating over to next. And I think this is smart to uh, send a player like Solo, who is so volatile when it comes to these uh, these gunfights, right? Like, I mean, he uh, is an absolutely explosive talent. And uh, sending someone like that to get into position, possibly clean out any enemies that have made a rotation over early is absolutely huge. You also saw Bolu make that rotation early, looking to play anchor for that team. And, well... That is just uh, a well-oiled machine working the process here, and they're starting to extend that lead quite a bit. And Tribe in a pretty dominant position right now. Yeah, yeah, they got him. Um, pretty much a uh, no arms hold. I obviously spawns are locked down, secrets locked down, and Chez has yet to get out of the position to the front side. Solo has uh, just died off of his streak, so. Score streaks not necessarily a factor as of right now, but the operators certainly are. Space is going to go ahead and burn his. Not going to find anything out of it. Pepe going to be able to find some kills onto his Finnick. And surely we are going to see P4 open for business here in a moment. Tribe nowhere to be found on it. They're going to go ahead and rack up all the uh, points they can off of this P4, uh, P3. It does look like Simplicity are banking on a big hold now as we've traded blows back and forth. Still... It is Tribe who have the upper hand. They don't have the spawns or the advantage in new. This could be some big ground covering up. It is the opening operator here for Blur. As he's popped the claw, he's not going to have very much out of it other than a little bit of hit markers and damage. Surely enough, it's enough just to hold off the push. All right, well, now doubling up their opponent's scoreline. They're in a great position here for Tribe and Solo. Doing the Lord's work on the stairs right here. Now you can see Robalo pushing down into it as well. He's going to pick up one and allow the to get an other easy free kill, leaving someone at one HP for his life. And the trickle time going to come through for the side of Tribe. Now pushing their lead even further as we round out this P4 and we get ready for our first reset. Does look like we have a hunter killer used by Pepe and I want to say that was a little bit of a waste. Uh, some some mistimed opportunity there as uh, P4 was coming to an end. You guys had already made the break in. Sure, it puts your opponents outside, but with a 10-second timer between hills, you're not really gaining any sort of benefit or momentum no. off of that kill if it gets one. No, you're right, and I think the operator is being burned at... Uh, wow, look at this stick there. I caught it on cartels. My God. Rabalo with the gods here, and he's sitting on 16 after the first set. If you're popping off with 15 seconds left to go on a hill, you're in the wrong. If you're throwing streets, 15 seconds left to go, unless it is, you know, make or break, it's an L. 
Streaks being burned, operators being burned. I'm gonna say the utilization on both fronts, not necessarily the best. So 150, very near for Tribe as they're sitting two seconds short of it. P1, 20 seconds left to go. They can find it easily there as well. And the staircase is about to open up for business in the next 15. A little bit of uh, God's work here on the perimeter control. On to the fountain. Uh oh, up top in space. He's gonna go ahead and drop onto the objective. Jez and Solo getting into the feed, and just like that, Tribe yet again running away with it. They are taking a dominant stance here in the hard point. And it does look like yet again they're gonna be doubling up the points of their opponent, and then some. Hard point locked. All right. Well, Tribe, obviously a strong force in the uh, the matchup here, and well, they are looking to prove it. This is one of those teams that we were talking about being, uh, you know, a top three for the region and, and possibly even more, possibly uh, the world. So we'll have to see what they're going to bring here. This is uh, another team that I, I would think I would put right up there in the... This could be a, a team that plays in the grand finals of Stage 5, and I would completely uh, agree with that. So now got about a 100-point lead above their opponents. Obviously, you mentioned that the operator use for the side of Simplicity has not quite mm -hmm. been all there, and that is a little bit unfortunate. And, well, looking at the operators right now, we burned everything. Yeah. And we've still got an Annihilator and a Purifier available for Tribe with a Claw right around the corner as well. Yeah, Tribe got them in their back pocket. This is exactly where they want to be at. Setup here going to be early here for the boys over at Simplicity, but it's spoiled. Pepe, the last hope. Spawns not necessarily favor that secret side. They're going to get the back side. Front side medical. Hill's gonna be hopped. They are going to be on the objective for the time, but here comes the brute force push. It is space the last hope. He's gonna combine with Bolo, who both gets taken down and hold the phones. We got a simplicity hold. They're gonna be able to stick it for now, but still, operators still too in abundance there for Jazz and Bolu. They're looking for the right time to pop it. If they do, or will they save it for next? There's 30 seconds left to go. You still see a little bit of traction onto the inside of the objective, and Tribe are going to be able to get the break in. King's on the outskirts looking in, and he gets shut down. And that might be the beginning of the end. 20 seconds left to go. Not enough to do the job here, but Solo looking for the connection over. And look at these spots. King's, like, right behind him. I don't even know how that happens. Well, we are getting very, very close to victory here for the side of Tribe. Operators starting to get built back up for the side of Simplicity as well. Uh, as far as our kills go, the only player that's positive right now, actually, Raph, is neutral. We'll, we'll call that uh, positive as well. It's going to be Blur sitting at plus three and Raph sitting on neutral. The rest of the team is struggling to keep up with what Tribe bring to the table. And I think that should be absolutely no shock to anybody as we do have a uh, just kind of a, a, a massive map control uh, presence going on by the side of Tribe right now, right? And time ticking away. This one, this one's gonna be over verdict. Yeah, this one wasn't even close. I mentioned it, this is a different team. This is not the simplicity that we saw that Solar Hearts last season and in stage three, this is a completely different team that doesn't look at all objective focused. And we don't see that as dynamic elements that we used to see. And I don't know if it's because Tribe's gotten 10 times better than what they originally were, or if Simplicity have just digressed. Maybe it's a combination of the two. We'll take a look at the post action report and kind of figure it out in between the lines. Probalo. MVP for every single game that we've seen out of this Tribe roster. Not anything different here. 42 seconds on the hill for Jazz as he's going to be a close second. 28 and 21. 29 24 for Rabalo himself in the minute and one. Three minutes on the hill for Bolu and a plus two positive. Holy hell. Where did this man come from? That's right. He just got back from vacation. Tribe. Looking like the team to beat in the West here. North America is and has been owned by them for the past three years. Can they make it a fourth day? Well, they're certainly going to be looking to do so. It is going to be a difficult, difficult matchup, though. We saw the energy that Tribe brought to the table there. Obviously, Tribe is a team that uh, really does well in the search and destroy as well. I mean, look at some of the seasons past where, you know, we talk about what a madman solo has been. 
Uh, even with some of the off-meta weapon choices, right? I mean, bringing the Kilo uh, to Search and Destroy and, and things of that nature. Obviously, uh, a great way to round out everything here for the uh, the competitive scene, right? You, you, you had to take one map out that's great for the comp scene. Yeah, you throw another one in that's there as well. So Yeah, they're interchangeable. Man, you gotta love the... We know that Je our space can hit. So could Jez. Apparently, he's got the Koshka and that buff. Is not minuscule to him. It's enough to go ahead and slay some opponents there. That scope may not be it. Nonetheless, space getting all the respect of the world. Nobody crossed towards that barrel site. Standing up straight. They don't want to get wall banked. They don't want to be another casualty. They don't want to be another victim. And speaking of victims, Solo's looking for his first. He's got an R9, the hopper. The shots that'll surely make you hop. Bump, though, it's made its way over. Raph. He's going to be concussed, flashed on out of the cubby. King's looking for the retaliation. Can't land the shots. DOQ not hitting. And Rabalo going to be able to find one in trade. Oh, my God. Space gets dumpstered. King's the quick scope. Bolo on the opposite side of the wall. Will he be the next one? Does not look like it is going to come through. Solo going to backtrack. And there, just like that, they flush him out of the spawns. Pepe. Has a locust in hand. Oh, he's got some shots to go along with it, as well as a finnick. Okay. Still not very doable, though. 1v2, 15 seconds. All right. Well, not very doable, but we've seen Pepe in the past bring the heat. But time not in his favor. Only eight seconds. Had to find two kills in a defuse. That's going to be a tribe round victory coming through. Again, I don't think that should realistically surprise anybody at this point this tribe roster uh and not even just this tribe roster but the, the tribe organization and uh specifically centered with bolu have uh always been great at pulling together a strong team and making them work together or well helping them work together so not at all shocked in this situation and man it was was that a 15 second bomb plant yeah. we just saw come through? Yeah, that was. Oh my goodness. And I'll tell you, the utilities are on point. Bomb's going to go down. Bolo there to oversight. They're going to do the deed. Bolo's going to stick around as well as your bomb carrier in solo. They're going to look to hold it down effectively. Jez just doing whatever he can around the middle of the map. He's going to have some opponents coming up the staircase. Hello, there's no cookies up here, buddy. Just a Koshka, and you can take as many shots as you want. 2 0 Lee Tribe. Absolutely having their way with simplicity off the rip. And it just doesn't. I mean, there's the strategies here for simplicity. Uh, they can't get onto the site. They can't prevent this bomb from going down over at A. And on top of that, they can't afford to stay alive for very long. Jez, five across two. Solo going to be. I mean, look at that push. Raff and Pepe combined for two, though. And Solo. Not going to be able to do any kind of damage on that one. Bomb is going to be collected, though. And zero map control here for Tribe. Simplicity starting to turn the Jets on early. Right, well. This is definitely a, uh, a must-have position to be in if you are Simplicity. We've let a lot go. we got to find a way to be able to close things out. Right now, it is still very, very doable for the side of Tribe. We have a single player advantage, so someone <laughs> grabbing a, uh, a, a twofer here could be huge, but the one-for-one one trade going to be good out of Blur as he gets his first kill on the board. Bomb is in the hands of Space, so they do have that going for them right now. And uh, obviously, Jez as well. You know, I feel a little bit bad. We uh, we had Lojack in chat earlier, and he really wanted to see some QQ9 use. And, well, here we have some of it coming through for Jez as his secondary. Well, Jez has picked it up off the body. Raph is the only man crazy right. enough to use the MP5, the QQ9, in this competitive scene. Blur right on the outskirts of the wall. He's on the back side of the CT tank. Gonna go ahead and get the push up. Waiting for the extension over on the flip side. Space finds his first. Jez good for the second. And they pounce on their prey. Wow. Pepe, the last hope. Can he do it? Finds one inside the cubby. Jez looking to play his life. No, he wants the gunny. The QQ9, there's nobody the better. And my man's got nine. He's averaging three around, Chad. And he's putting this simplicity team in his back pocket. 
folding them single-handedly. That was a big 2v3 clutch from Space and Jez. Well, Jez with two, Space with one. That one certainly did count, though. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, that keeps the team in a undefeated position so far for the search and destroy. Clutching that one up. They now lead 3-0. And maybe not 15 seconds this time, but another very, very quick plant as 23 seconds into the round, we get a, another really big closeout here for the uh, the members of Tribe, putting them in a big position. But first blood is going to be Jez taken down. And I got to say, that is definitely a, a big one to pick for the side of Simplicity, making this round look a little bit more doable. Ooh, okay. man, Ooh. starting to fry him out. Oh, God. S Solo's the last one alive. 1v2. They got to push inside the cup if they want him. Pepe, what was that? Solo chow. Oh, my God. The four pins from Solo. Ready up. And even when the team's down bad, they've got a bank of tricks that they have up their sleeves. And I did not anticipate that one. Surely Simplicity didn't either. And Simplicity are just down atrociously after what we just saw there the clutch goes through for solo he's going to be able to open up with some kills of his own the range of this thing is demon like and just like that blur is the last man standing he's going to have to ace it against his former team Rapallo says no hard feelings let me go ahead and slide on through with these boxing gloves give you a nice old one-two punch five rounds in five rounds locked and loaded simplicity nowhere to be found Right, well, 5-0 lead for the side of Tribe, looking great for them, and they're doing it on the offense here as well, Verdict. Typically speaking for your your search and destroys, that is going to be the more difficult side to win on. So the fact that they're going up so strongly right now, well, it really just shows the prowess and dominance this team brings to the table. Again, especially looking at the likes of Solo and Jez, who have been tearing apart this search and destroy so we'll be looking for some more action out of the rest of the team when we switch sides because man the offense plays right into the aggressiveness that uh players like jez and solo bring to the table one for one trade so far this round but it looks like king's actually going to come through and get a little bit of an advantage for the team here not a huge one but an advantage nonetheless All right, they need everything they can get after that last round. I mean, Solo was a damn menace. Was that last round or was that a few rounds? I don't know, bro. I've been hit so hard after that one. I'm disgusted. 5-1 lead as we flip sides. We're going to need a damn lifeboat sent over to the house of Simplicity. They're going to need a bailout of some magnitude. None last try. Not taking it easy on them. Both will open it with the first blood. They're stacking this A side heavily. And there's something that you don't like about Search and Destroy on standoff. It is a one-dimensional push. They do realize that, hey, there is a lot of traction over at that A site. They do drop uh, Raph in the midst of all that action, too. So we'll see if they can get this bomb down over at B. Now, maybe bank on... My game just crashed? No, they just kind of lagged. Thank God. All right, there we go. We're good. We're cooking. 4v5 here. Minute 19 still left on the clock. All right, well, 4v5 advantage in favor of Tribe Space, playing way, way back right now. But definitely a smart angle for a sniper to be positioned, especially when you have someone who's so dominant as well on the snipes. With Jez coming through 11 kills, it really allows Space to be able to sit back and guard these long flanks. So smart play out of the boys over on Tribe right now. Bomb. Definitely not getting planted fast like it was for Tribe early on, but Pepe finally making his way up to A, and nice. Bolo's here to shut him down. No. Solo finds the follow-up onto Cartels. Just like that, it's a 5-2, very likely going to be a 6-1 lead yep. in favor of Tribe. Yep, we got two players left standing. Blur, Kings, what are you guys worth? Let's see some shots. Those not hitting Blur. Trying to get any wall bang, and my God, they're not hitting. Kings, though, he's hitting. Gets Mack truck, though. That's Jez finding his. Yeah, he's in double digit, man. He's getting his. We're on match point. This one. 
looking like it might be over here. Bar a absolute miracle, as I mentioned it early. Simplicity definitely struggling with their identity in that hard point. That's their bread and butter. You don't have any consistency in the search and destroy. In the rounds that you did have one, you sold. Can you reel it back in? Kings. Gets pounced on solo, the two piece. That might be the dagger. That might be the one that breaks the camel's back. Blur gonna reel it back in as the two piece comes through, splitting between him and cartels. It's not over with just yet, but still just one round away from this one being collapsed on. Bolo, Space, and Jez, the last three. And with those kind of numbers up in the, in the likes of Jez, you got to stop and think. With him being alive, odds not any better on the left-hand side of our screen. All right. Well, big trades coming through here at the beginning. Does look like we're going to have a... Big, big opportunity to close things out here. Should Tribe have their defense hold? Bomb is going to be in the hands of Raf. As you mentioned, he's the main player rocking that QQ9 right now. So, not going to be a great position to be in. But, oh, he gets the slide. Cartel's here for Bolu as well. Jez is going to be the last alive. He has as many kills as the other three players combined. So, I mean, you, you got to believe in him. But, yeah. He also got way more map coverage out of the side of uh, Simplicity. Well, this is it. If you try, break the line. Bank on Jazz hitting a miracle shot there. First one's not going to hit. Simplicity fans, just hold down the fort. Oh, my God. Blur gets out right there. Try to get the transition to the middle of the Satcher tank. 15 seconds left to go. Not stalling. Jez going to go ahead and jump. He wants the action. He's going to go ahead and push on in. Not going to anticipate cartels to be there, though. And just like that, we got a round of swinging in favor of the boys in blue. It's Simplicity. Hanging on by a thread yet again. One round away from being match point. Oh, it is match point, but one round away from losing... In a 2-0 fashion, this is about as dominant of a matchup we've seen all night. And we saw LG just absolutely manhandle Limited earlier. Just, I mean, have their way with man. I mean, but the, the games, though, were a little slower paced. This one's like a speed run. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely going to be the case. And right now, looking like things could quite be getting ready to be over in a 2-0 fashion, shy of... An abs I'm going to take beyond an absolute miracle comeback for the side of uh, Simplicity at this point. So hard to say if they have what it takes at this level of competition. You would expect them to be able to prove it. You ma made a really solid point earlier in the likes of, uh, you know, wanting or, uh, you know, believing is maybe the better word more in this team when they have Jesus with them. But not anymore. Two kills come through early on for the side of Simplicity here, and that could buy them another round, but, I mean, how many rounds do we got to buy before we we give up this last round? I mean... Yeah, this is it. We've got overtime guaranteed at this point. Mm, overtime, not happening. Bolo wants the oh, fight, I'm takes here. it. Pepe, the last hope. Dreams have sold. Arena's packed. They want to see Simplicity perform. Solo, he just wants the night to be over. He's in Delhi. He's making him a sandwich with the finest of finest meats in here, man. Let me tell you. He's got a couple of uh, cold ones to go along with it. That's right. That hopper ain't just a shot that'll make you hop. That is certainly filled with some, uh, what's some words? That's right. Shotgun shots, but God! Whoa! Pepe! Gets plastered. Mm. One too many sandwich bites. The Finnick. Slicing him up himself. Okay, Delhi wasn't the play. Butcher came into town, said he didn't like what he saw. We said it. There ain't enough miracles left in the world for this Simplicity roster to win. And surely, they have been hanging on, white-knuckling this search and destroy. Kings and Blur opening up with the first bloods. We got some life out of Simplicity. Finally, pulse check in. They are certainly still alive. All right, and they're starting to bring things back a little bit. They have another player advantage here, which is, you know, really 
pretty solid for them. But that's going to be quickly answered back by Rabalo, player that uh, chat has spent plenty of time bashing for absolutely no reason at all. So. Okay. Well, my right. oh, man. We're, we're pulling up. The, oh, uh, no. The no, iPad. I know. I know it had to happen at some point. We got the good old iPad, though. And that's quite all right. You know, iPads don't belong in competitive, right? Well, I mean, if I didn't have the iPad, you guys wouldn't be watching right now, right? So iPads do belong. Right now, simplicity. They're trying to figure out if they belong in a world dominated by tribe. Can they stand out and find the win? 30 seconds left to go. Bomb is in the hands of Cartels. Blur clearing it out from the 04. Looking to take out the mans from Bolo and Solo. They're inside the cubby. One shot. Blur finds one. Inside the cubby still Solo. All he's got to do is peek out as soon as that bomb indicates that he is still alive and kicking. There it goes. Solo going to go ahead and slow pounce it. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to allow him to get away. Oh, the no. shot's not oh, going to go no. through, and that's it. Oh, my goodness. Blur is still alive. Blur is still alive, but you got uh, an R90 coming for you, and we know how the uh, range of this thing has worked lately. Oh, my God, he oh, lost. Oh, There's no way. I blame Solo right there, bro. The indecisive, the indecisiveness inside of the cubby. And Blur icing it up. That's what he's worth here in this search of destroy. He's kept the dream alive. The 1v2 pans out perfectly for him. Bomb, though, not picked up this round. We got the emulator back up and running, chat. We didn't miss any of that action. All right, well, inching closer to overtime potential for the side of Simplicity here. Do have first blood in favor of Tribe this round, though, and that, that could definitely ramp up the difficulty, and, well... With Jez taking down a Pepe, that is <laughs> oh, absolutely Oh, look at Raph, too. Raph's stuck, bro. He's on an island. Space knows what's going on. Oh, yeah. Jez going to mm. get the credit. Well, Space, I think that yeah, might be it. I think we're wow. out of Miracle Juice. Okay. What? What did Solo... Did he just, like, stick himself with a nade? How the hell does that happen? I... Look at I him. He's got Rick Mortis. I mean, it had to be with his own grenade, I mean, right? Shot. He's not like near. He's not near a car or anything that could have exploded and killed him that he damaged. But okay, is it over with still? I mean, if you needed some miracle juice, that might have been <laughs> what you needed. Hey, let me know what kind of bad juju we got going on here. <laughs> what the hell is going on? What, how, and why? We'll ask the questions later. Right now. They've got to make a miracle still work. They got to execute. Jazz looking for in the middle of the map. They ain't there. 25 seconds. They got to make a move. Motion through the front. Jazz up top. Blur down low. Jazz simply better. Oh, he's playing with his food. They're baiting them. There goes cartels. Yep, there it is. That's it. Go ahead and execute him if it's possible. Nope, Bolo's going to get the credit for the kills. Chat. Go ahead. Man. Put a fork in them. They're done. All right, well, a little sad for Simplicity. It looked like they might have been on a comeback spree there, but not going to be the case. The uh, miracles only last so long, and the 7-4 victory is going to come through for the side of Tribe. That is going to be a 2-0 victory in their favor. We talked a little bit about the scoring earlier and what that means. What that means for you guys is Tribe have now put themselves in first place and simplicity not picking up any points have dropped from third to fifth today as well that's that's yeah. painful we'll take a look at it jez he, somebody in chat said he has it snipes in stage five how is he this good it's sakashka it got a minuscule buff and my guy's exploiting it like it's the best thing since sliced bread let me tell you jez he's from the 808 and he hits like a drum Mans is nasty with the steel. Doesn't matter what's in his hands. He is going to find a way to get a kill. He found 16 of them with the Koshka today. I don't think we've ever seen NA use anything like that. Right? I think it's EU has been dominantly 
using the off meta sniper options. I did not expect Koshka coming in Jez's hands. It looked damn good though. 12 piece for Bolu and Solo, or as uh, we like to call them, Solu. And Space it's wrapping so with three, with five, and Rapallo. This is the first time I've seen him bottom frag. This was a long game. Three kills is uh, pretty hard to top, buddy. Much love, Rip. Much respect. We're going to send it back to the host stats. Cali, break down that last matchup for it. It was a tribe show. Simplicity. They were merely just guestless. Not even like VIP, right? Yeah, I mean, we, we saw Kings from Simplicity just play great, right? But that team cannot get the job done. The amount of talent, the amount of work that Tribe really put onto the takeoff hardpoint was a lot better compared to what we saw from Simplicity. I mean, Bolo.